What's going on, you guys? The Demi God back on Demi God ENT. It's time to bring you another movie reaction, review, and commentary. Today, we're going to be doing a video based on 2011's film Warrior. Now, this appears to be a mixed martial arts movie, you know, and if you don't know anything about me, I love combat sports. I love mixed martial arts. In fact, it's the only sport I ever watch is mixed martial arts and occasionally other combat sports such as boxing, etc. And if you look at my channel, some of the biggest videos I have up right now are based on fights. So that's very interesting considering I am a movie channel. So what we're going to be doing here today is combining my two loves into one. And we're going to be checking out 2011's Warrior. Now, I got the description pulled up right here. It says, an ex-Marine trains under his father for an MMA tournament as his estranged brother fights his way into the event their biggest opponent each other what these brothers are about to be fighting each other in the cage this movie's gonna be insane man also the cast for this movie is Joel Edgar Tan I hope I'm not butchering your name bro Tom Hardy and Nick Nolte now I am a big Tom Hardy fan I must admit and this looks like a damn good movie man so without further ado you're going to be seeing my first time watching Warrior from 2011 this is a movie I've wanted to check out for quite a while I'm glad we're finally getting around to it so without further ado man let's go ahead and jump on into the commentary let's see what they got first in this film let's get into this let's go He's on prescription meds right now, huh? Is this Tom Hardy? Yep, it is. Okay, that already tells us one thing about his character, you know. Dealing with something, obviously. What are you doing here? Well, I was just passing through. And I figured, why not have a belt with the old man? That's not for me anymore, Tommy. Mmm. Gave it up. You, you changed brands? Man, Come on, go this is going to be a heartfelt movie. I could already tell. I could already tell. Just by that intro right there. This is going to be good, man. Let's go. I'm ready. You haven't seen a guy in 14 years? You're not going to have a drink with him? Come on. I told you I'm off it, Tommy. I'm coming up on a thousand days. Good, bro. That's good. Fight those addictions. Just a drink with him. His son's coming in with him with that temptation. Got to be strong. Okay, look at this. Right there. It looks like he's looking at his own childhood photos right there. Wrestler background. You see that? Great base for MMA. Um, yeah, we'll see where this goes right here, man. This is this is already off to a good start. I'll say that. Hey, man, his brother used to be wrestlers right there. I think I liked you better when you were drunk. Damn. That's ruthless right there. He's being real hard on his father in this scene, and, you know, it's not to say that it's undeserving, considering he's clearly had a traumatic past, but wow. Okay, now I believe this to be his brother right here, and what they're doing here with these two scenes is they're showing just how different each of their lives are, how different their paths have been since you know they were originally together when they used to wrestle as kids we've seen they're both in the photos together they both have the medals on and, and so we're showing the dynamic here one who had you know a more troubled life and the other who you know made a little bit more out of his life went the family route with that and just seeing the contrast between the two brothers here um before you know it, they inevitably lead up to each other right so this is good here so far so you want to join sure okay Finally making, you know, a healthy decision in his life. This is a good choice right here for his character. Got this Chuck Liddell looking dude with the mohawk here. <laughs> okay, okay. He has some experience. That's good. The military trained him up a little bit. Oh, man. Ground and pound. You getting sparked in there, man. Bro, this is not a spar. This is not a spar. What is this? This is a straight fight. A brawl. The county that did the assessment, not the bank. This dude looks almost damn near like Chael Sonnen. I'm sure y'all watching this, watching the movie with me, know who that is. You know what I'm saying? Tommy's been working out at my gym. And 
And he put a beating on the number one middleweight contender in the world today. <laughs> wow, number one in the world. About the guy. Maybe help him out. Okay. So he's earning some money on the sides doing, you know, more low level fights, right? More local fights. Okay, some feints. We got some feints going here. Filling each other out. Oh my god! Throws off the double leg attempt. Good double leg takedown. Okay, got some down. Has the back. Some ground and pound. Goes to the full mount. Finishes him with ground and pound in the full mount. That's a TKO stoppage right there. First round. Very well done. Mm. Oh my God. He hasn't been telling his wife, huh? What? He's been fighting on the low. He said it was going to be a slow night. He put us out of the house in three months. We're running out of options. Then he put us out of the house in three months. I'd rather go back and build apartments than see you in the back of an ambulance again. So again, we're seeing two completely different motivations here for the two brothers. You know, I love that contrast there. The family man who's fighting to stay in his home and keep his family in his home a very honorable and respectable thing to do and then his brother on the other hand who you know seems to be fighting just to almost battle his demons battle his trauma when it comes to his father and his mother and the relationship he had with both of those individuals and you know he's just naturally talented at it so i'm curious to see what more motivations they're going to have for tommy's character other than you know him battling demons and sometimes that's all it takes for you to be you know, doing something like this, but hey, let's continue here. Let's see where they go with this. I'm gonna start fighting. Is that right? Don't play babe in the woods with me. I know that guy from the gym came to see you. Cole Boyd. Mm. Yeah. I didn't tell him anything, Tommy. I wouldn't be sitting here with you now if you did. <laughs> hey, can I get you more coffee? No. I like that dialogue. Hannah, would you like a cup of coffee? If you notice, man, this film has like a <clears throat> gritty layer over it. You know, it adds a certain <clears throat> layer of like just down in the mud to the movie, if that makes any sense. And since this is about training, you dump whatever it is you need to dump as far as those pills are concerned. I don't want to see him. Yep. Man, I told y'all he was, he was dealing with a little addiction there. I know they're on you, Tommy. You sounded like a goddamn maraca coming through the door. We're going to do this right, and you got to stay at the house. I watch your diet. We follow the old regimen. You copy? Okay. I like where this is going. It's a great setup right here. Great first act right there. And I believe we are now moving into the second act with the end of that scene right there. Oh, man. I don't, man, I forgot for a second that he, you know, he teaches at a high school. You can't be showing up like that if you teach at a high school all beat up. Come on, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> are you being literal or figurative? Because literally it looks bad. <laughs> and uh, figuratively, it looks even worse. Hey, the superintendent got you there. A few minutes. I mean, you're a you're a goddamn teacher. You got no business in the ring with those animals. Actually, I used to be one of those animals. Hmm. Man, I fought for a living. Great dialogue. I got to put that down on my application. UFC. Yeah. Oh wow. Son of a bitch. Okay. He used to fight, you know, in the best organization there is. He would train me. It's time to get back in there. I want to get back in the cage. That's right. Are you serious? Come on, Brendan. I won an event the other night. Ah, you won an event. That's what this is. Let me guess. It was in a parking lot. <laughs> DJ from a local radio station, a couple of rain card girls you wouldn't bang on a dare. That it was. <laughs> yes. Hey, Brendan. Brendan. It's me, Pop. What are you doing here? Okay. I have some news for you. This is an interesting interaction. He's not cool with his dad either. Your hands. No. There's nothing wrong with your hands. There's no reason for you not to phone. I got uh, wife and kids inside and away from me, so I don't have time for whatever this is. I know okay. you got a wife and kid in there. I, I, I've got a, a granddaughter in there I haven't seen in three years. And, and another one I haven't even never met. Yeah, why is that, Pop? Man. Why is that? It's a great scene right here, man. Do you remember having anything to do with that? Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, I can understand where both parties are coming from here. You really can. You know, you can understand why the son is acting this way because, of course, his dad was abusive and an, and an alcoholic and had problems his whole life and probably, you know, severed the relationship between them, quite honestly. And you can understand the father trying to fix himself, trying to better himself and trying to reconnect with his children, especially since, you know, his other one just showed up on his doorstep, which probably got him thinking about the other son, you know, so... Great scene right here between these two gentlemen. Let's keep it going. They're not different things. You gotta trust to forgive. My pop. Oh, my God. Is, is that Emily? Is JC's grown, Is that Rosie? Oh, it's just a nice old man. Oh, man. That's a hard scene to watch right there. That was the hardest scene in the whole movie to, to watch right there. Wow. That was heavy. Tommy. Who's this? Ay, no lo puedo creer, Dios mío. Espérame tantito. A ver, están coloreando bien? How, how's things? How, um, are the kids, the kids good? Yeah, good? Okay. He has someone who he cares about in his yeah. life. That's, that's important right she there. Looks more and more like Manny would really appreciate it. Is that them when they were kids there? Too much. You, you worry so much about us. It's okay. We're, you know what? We're hanging in there. Oh, man. Oh man, man, that that panning right there just that one panning had a million words in it. I understood the entire scene. All my questions for the scene just went away. That was perfectly executed right there. It just pans in on the photo of Tommy with his military, you know, brother. I mean, his brother in arms pretty much who we can assume died in combat just based on that panning right there. Her taking care of the kids on his own, on her own, I mean to say and you know, him him trying to help out in some sort of way. So, again, another motivation as to why he needs to start making some money in his life, why he would even begin to fight. Because, quite honestly, other than him having, like, past traumas, we haven't really seen him have, like, you know, the, the money problem or anything. And that right there just revealed a lot, man. So, wow. This is amazing right here. Let's keep it going. What are they thinking entering a winner-take-all tournament against a guy that seemingly can't be beat? The think of $5 million and $5 million. Oh, Rashad million Evans. Million. Let's million. go. They're going against Cobra. I was waiting to see, you know, if they would include Game anybody over, into this movie, and they are. So that's good. Adds a little bit of credibility to the film, you know? What's he upset about? Trying to get him a fight? Oh, man, one of his best fighters got injured out there running. Not good. How about me? <laughs> How you talking about Sparta? Brendan, you got a better shot of starting a boy band. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Give him a shot, man. He's winning his fights. Oh. It's a Grand Prix tournament, which means anything could happen. You know that as well as I do. Yeah, I'll make a call. There we go. Get him in that tournament. Oh, I love my coats. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just sweet moments there between the coaches and the fighters. Even with Tommy's character, you know, his dad is his coach. And even there. You're not going to get hurt. You're not going to end up in the hospital. You're not going to end up paralyzed. You have no no prize money. Right. We have no house. Pest. We have payments for hospital Listen, bills. Listen, I promise you this. If I don't try in three weeks, they're going to take the house. Mm. Need to keep problem. the home. Oh, here we go. Brother reunion. Let's see how this conversation hey, goes. You know, I'm curious you. to see what went wrong. You don't want to go sit down somewhere? No, I'm good right here. <laughs> okay. He's playing this role perfectly, man. I love his character. You forgave us? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised you made the tournament, Brendan. You got some stones, man. I fell in love. What the hell was I supposed to you do? You were supposed to stick to the plan. You were supposed to come with us. Mom needed you. I needed you. You're my big brother. You bailed on me. Wow. Hey, you know, I'm glad you stayed. Everything worked out for you. Okay. You leave, you get the opposite. So from what I'm gathering here, you know, it appears that he really needed his help taking care of his mother. And, you know, the older brother left that job up to Tommy. So 
I mean, man, family is complicated. It really is. So, uh, again, another scene. I love these scenes here between the two characters where they just let them play out and just have their dialogue. These scenes are fantastic. Some of the best scenes in the movie that I've seen so far where, you know, we just get the dialogue from both sides here. We get the opinion, the point of view from both sides, and you can understand either one. You can understand both of these guys. You know, neither of them are in the wrong. Neither of them are in the right. They're just people. And that's what's really important here, man. This is great here. Let's go. I didn't even know she was sick. I never even got the chance to say goodbye to my own mother. Wow. You had no right to keep that from me. That was not your decision to make. Man. No way. We done when we finished. Oh, they, they got to fight. They got to. <laughs> this build up is crazy now. Tom Hardy is is killing this role. This might be one of my favorite roles from him, actually. One of my favorite performances from him. I love this, you know, standoffish, you know, tra traumatic ex-military fighter that he's portraying here. No music, no sponsors, no interviews. He skipped the press conference, wouldn't have his picture taken. Man, he's just about that fight, huh? I love how authentic this is as an MMA fan this man this means the world to me how authentic they're portraying this environment the walkouts the announcers the you know the the casters by the side of the by the side of the octagon there this is amazing i love this man let's keep going this is going to prove his legitimacy as a fighter right here as an MMA fighter we're about to see man let's see what he has let's go tommy we gotta see if Mavos is gonna be looking for a takedown. Definitely looking for a takedown here. <laughs> oh man, the one hitter quitter? No way! That was like the first punch he threw. <laughs> this is amazing. This is stuff you never see right here. He doesn't care about getting his hand raised or anything. He went in there. He got the job done and he left immediately. He walked directly out as if he just lost the fight. Amazing scene, man. Conlon, which is really something I don't understand. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm shocked. The underdog's gonna win here, you know. Again, it's their movie, so the anticipation in their fights, the level is a bit lower because we know they have to win because they have to get to a certain point in the film where, you know, we see them evolve as fighters onto the top level. No He's about to set the rear naked. Get out of there. He's putting the hooks in for the rear naked choke. Man, he's done. Will he fight out of this? Let's see. Come on, man. Come on, man. His arms are going to blow out eventually. Come on. You just got to survive. Don't do it. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Rough first round. He's having a much harder time in here than Tommy did, and we'll see if he can pull it off in the second or third round here. This looks like Rumble Johnson, by the way. I wanted to mention that when he first got in there. However, he's clean shaven. It's a bit harder to tell. Is it him? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's him right there. No debate now. That's Rumble Johnson. Good scramble into the top mount. He's going for the Kimura. He gets the Kimura. It's locked in. The Kimura's locked in there. Let's go. Let's go. Got that dub in. The underdog takes the victory via Kimura, via arm lock. <laughs> Every man needs a woman like that behind him. Look how gassed he is that he got it done, man. That's what's up. Another first round KO. Bro, Tommy is a cold-blooded savage. My God, he's not in there playing. That is a, that's an amazing character detail, man. I needed this guy back when I was a kid. I don't need you now. Wow. It's too late now. Everything has already happened. I was right. I think I liked you better when you were a drunk. 
At least she had some balls there. Not like now, tiptoeing around that stuff. Beggar with your cup out. Hey, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, bro. Come on, man. You don't got to do all that. That's OD. That's, that's overdoing it. Come on, man. Show some respect. Man's been busting his ass training you. He didn't have to do that, you know. That was a piece of shit thing right there. Yeah, you can't just be mad at the world your whole life, man. That it's gonna get you killed. That anger will eat you up. You bastards! Stop the shit, you bastards! Oh no. He's back on the booze. You godless son of a bitch! You stop the shit! You godless son of a bitch! Having bad PTSD. That alcohol brings out his demons, man. No! This is hard to watch, man. Watching a man battle his demons like this, man. Wow. Addiction is a son of a bitch. It really is. Wow. A lot of heart warming stuff inside of this film. Uh, I really didn't expect this element to be as present as it is. Turned his life upside okay, down. they're getting their rematch. Long, very miserable few months for Mad Dog to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> All that extra aggression ain't gonna help you, bro. Again. We'll see. Mad Dog chomping at the bit here. We, we will see. He he, Mad Dog knockout, is trying, so he he's overcompensating to get himself punch. into this fight, man. And, uh, the way, he so really is. He's going to be overthrowing all his punches, overcommitting on all his punches. You can't go into the ring like Damn that. You can't compete like that. Good luck. Hey, what did I tell you? Overcommitting on all his punches, got immediately taken down, and the shit beat out of you. You're down bad, Mad Dog. Ref, pull him off, ref. Damn. This is so cool, man. The sense of camaraderie, man. The sense of of like unity right there between the classmates all gathering behind their teacher of all people, you know. Man, this is very heartwarming. I really did not know what to expect when I got myself into this movie. Again, I'm just watching this just an MMA fan, just checking out a movie, wanting to see how, how they're going to do, you know, how they're going to portray the mixed martial arts, the world of mixed martial arts inside of this film. I wanted to see how they would approach this whole thing. And, you know, there's there's an underlying layer other than the fighting in this movie, and that's just the heart. This movie has so much heart, man. I'm definitely going to be watching this one back for years to come, for sure. Shout out to his wife for being there, showing that, that yeah, love and support. But you never know, man. That could throw off his so performance, you know? Yeah, that dude is scary. He is the huge underdog in this fight. Out of any fight. Let's go. Oh, my God. Crazy double leg. Ground and pound. Barely survives the first round. Similar to his... Was that his second fight? How much abuse, it was his how first much fight, actually. Disgusting hammer fist. He's still defending himself. He's good. Barely survives the second round again. He's getting the hell beat out of him. That dude is fresh. What are he supposed to do? He has to pull off a leg lock or something. Something crazy. You don't knock him out. You lose the fight. Do you understand me? You don't knock him out. You don't have a heart. Go, there you go. Great scene right there. A coach, you know, his fighter's on the verge of losing. He's down on the scorecards. They're going into the final round here. You have to get his head back in the game because, you know, your your mental can slip a lot when you're losing like that, man. So that was a great scene between him and his coach right there, trying to get his head back into the fight and trying to prepare him for, you know, a potential victory in this third round if he could somehow pull this off. I'm guessing he's going to pull it off. Let's see. Good. Got the leg lock. I told y'all he's going to have to get a leg lock. I said it, man. He has to. It's your ace in the hole. Break his leg, man. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. 
the underdog gets it done. Three for three on submissions. Submission specialist. Hey, he pulled that off, man. Legendary comeback with the leg lock. Legendary. Prize for the middleweight championship of the world. Our brothers. This is gonna be insane. How you can't beat Tommy. Tommy is a warmonger. Tommy is going to eat his soul. He's not gonna pull this off, man. This is crazy. They're gonna really gonna have to determine a winner at the end of this movie. Brother versus brother. Great build up. Great third act right here so far. Here we go. He's not ready for another fight, bro. He needs to go to the hospital. That was like career-changing fight damage he was taking in that fight. He needs to go to the hospital. It doesn't matter that he won that fight. It really doesn't. The fact that they're sending him back out there in the condition that he's in, this is insane. Uh, definitely would not happen nowadays, um, even though this came out in 2011, so that's pretty recent, but we'll see, we'll see how they, how they pull this off here. Oh man, you're in there with a cold-blooded killer, bro. That's not even your brother you're in there with. He's a savage. You're already all injured and cut up. Tommy is fresh. He knocked out both his opponents quick. Here we go. The big moment, the big payoff. Let's go. I'm excited for this one, guys. I really am. Like it's a real fight. He's in there trying to kill his brother. My God. Oh, come on, bro. He can't be hitting after the bell. That's cheap, bro. I don't know how he survived that first round. I really don't. No one's made it out of the first round with Tommy yet. We'll see. Man, Tommy is a hothead. You see how he looks in there? He literally looks like a wild animal in that cage. But um, moving on from that, what I want to say here is this is a great scene right here, of course. Honestly, quite honestly, it doesn't make sense that Brendan is still kicking, is still around, has taken that much damage, and is still pushing through. We know Tommy hits hard. He just knocked out two top-level guys back-to-back. -back. Um, so this this is a little strange here. It really is. Um, and especially since I feel like they're, they're warming up for Brendan to take this win over Tommy and humble Tommy. I feel like that's where they're going with this scene here because Brendan has been the underdog the entire movie, and Tommy's kind of been, you know... The, the front runner other than his first fight, of course. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Let's continue. I, I'll see how it wraps up here, and I'll give my take on it, you know. Good leg kicks. They mix in the leg kick a lot in this movie. I like that detail. They throw it in the, at the end of the combos there. Oh, man. Dropped him bad. The knee. Ground and pound. Tommy is just a cardio machine. He just goes and goes. Realistically, he probably would have gassed out by now. Okay, Tommy is up two rounds here. If he wasn't that reckless, he honestly he could just play out the third round a little more safe. Get an easy dub, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This dude, man. I have never, bro, I've watched so many competitions, so much MMA, high level guys, I've never seen someone this, this just brawlic inside of the cage, this animalistic inside of the cage, he is a cardio machine, he is going from pillar to post, he's throwing everything in there, all out of like anger it seems, I mean, you know, typically this would not get a fighter where he's looking to go, but of course we're watching a movie here, so... I'll let it slide, but damn, he's going in. That was a great Oma Plata right there. Yeah. He's going to break it. You know he's not tapping. He's going to have to break it. 
How the hell does this dude keep surviving and getting submissions on people? This is ridiculous. Yeah, he broke his shit, man. Brutal. Man, I've never seen just that level of anger. Tom Hardy. Great performance, man. He looks scared. Okay, look at this. You see what they're showing here? They're showing in this scene the importance of a mixed martial artist coach, of a, having a coach in your corner, someone who believes in you, because of course, that person was his father, even though he didn't really want that from his father other than the training. But that person was his father, because as we can see here, Brendan's coach is consistently getting his head back in the game, getting him focused, even when he's losing these fights, even when he is down and out, pretty much looks like he's about to lose this fight. You know, he's getting the job done here. His coach is getting his head back in the game. And as we see there, Tommy doesn't have that. He's looking around. He's trying to find validation from external sources that he didn't bring into this cage with him. This is why coach is so important, guys. And yeah, he's just kind of relying on himself here to keep himself in the game. Even after he got put in his first vulnerable position that he's been in the entire movie, really. You know, he's had his guard up. But um, man, two more rounds to go. Oh, uh, your big brother is whooping your ass. Like I said, guys, they're going to have a scene where Tommy has to get humbled. He's been too, too rageful this whole movie. It ha this scene had to happen. Just it's just writing 101, right? They're showing his heart, though. He won't quit. Oh man, one good high kick. From the side he couldn't block on, of course. Puts in the choke. He's got the choke, rear naked choke. You know he's not going to tap, so he's going to go to sleep. He didn't tap last time. Oh, he actually tapped. Okay. Okay, he tapped. I really didn't expect that. He's been humbled, that's for sure. This is a great moment right here between the two brothers. Man, what a film, guys. What a film. Are they going to cut right to black right here? No dialogue or discussion afterwards? I mean, typically, I mean, honestly, it's not needed. The point of the movie is wrapped up right there, but wow. Look at that shot. Amazing shot right there. That's the, that's the shot for the whole movie right there. The money shot, as we like to call it. All right, guys, that was... Warrior from 2011 starring Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton, I believe his name is right there. Man, that was a hell of a film, guys. A hell of a film, I must say. As an MMA fan, that film definitely warmed my heart. They definitely showcased the world of mixed martial arts in a way that was authentic man and i love that they show the in the gym they show the relationship with the coach they show the training they show the the spectacle the event once they make it to the big stage i even like how they represented you know the local and the small stages because for anyone who's been to a local you know mixed martial arts fight it's very similar to that you know typically you you'll see cages nowadays you won't exactly see them take place in a in a boxing ring um maybe overseas but in america typically you would still on the local scene see a cage fight i know at least when i went to one i got to see them fight in a cage myself and yeah that was a great experience so i loved this man i absolutely love this movie like i said this is definitely going to be one that i have to watch back again and again and again as the years go by because that was very heartwarming man i didn't know what i was getting myself into when i clicked this movie i thought you know hey mixed martial arts movie uh it has some good reviews let's see what it's about you know because i just wanted to see how they would portray it inside of this film but what i ended up coming out with was extremely solid performances a movie about family really I mean, this movie revolves around family, around brotherhood, around that relationship between father and son, how important that is, around that relationship between fighter and coach and how important that is. 
and man it was all wrapped up perfectly in like this thing decorated up as you know a mixed martial arts movie which it was it was that but it was so much more and i loved all aspects of this movie i really did there was a few scenes in here that almost got me again some of my favorite scenes being when they're just talking back and forth of course the fight scenes inside of this movie those were extremely enjoyable i loved the way that they displayed mixed martial arts the way they showed how the fights take place i love the camera angles that we got the different positioning and everything i love that they threw in some high level bjj again we've seen the omoplata in there some other things like that now were there some unrealistic things about this movie definitely um almost every single fighter who got shown inside of this movie was abusing the hell out of the muay thai clinch um uh, especially those knees which again is a high level technique um a very effective technique so it makes sense that they would be using it and a lot of guys do go to it and do use it however you don't typically see every fighter work the clinch like that typically you know they have areas they're stronger in areas they're weaker in even if they're mixed martial artists and they mix it all up you know and so moving on from that another thing that kind of brought down the level of realism for me was just how these guys are you know their brothers and all this you know it was a fantastic tale i love the way this was written however them it, them both getting to the end of the tournament especially one coming off the couch again it makes sense maybe for the brother even him even tommy even tommy it's hard to believe because he just got off pills he was battling you know that addiction that his father was going through and was very proud that he got over which we seen him fall back into later in the movie in that very heartbreaking scene where tommy finally embraces his father um after he himself kind of sent his dad back to his demons i mean damn near wow that was heavy stuff right there but back to what i was saying here these guys damn near coming off the couch and hopping in there and then suddenly being the best of the best fighters against guys that have been consistently training it's a bit unbelievable um you wouldn't you wouldn't see things like that happen in real life really what should have happened is tommy went in there you know rageful um and sparred that guy in the beginning and most likely he would have gotten hurt inside of there and by the way they were sparring way too hard inside of this movie that was another part where i was like whoa we're here to train for fights we're not here to take each other's heads off we're not here to actually fight you know even if it's a hard spar there's levels to this you know and typically you know i know that light sparring is a bit more recommended so that you can get the technique down you could actually learn in there because you aren't learning really when you're just in a brawl other than how to survive in a brawl right but anyway moving on from those things man other than those little gripes with the movie that i had those little nitpicks being as i am a fan of mma to such a high level such a high degree i loved all these elements man and again the fights they were really a thing on the side here they were a thing on the side i expected i went to this movie expecting that to be the main focus the main thing here the main thing i was going to be interested in and i left with it being just one thing i was interested in out of this entire movie of greatness really and man i really loved this film guys i really did i'm glad i checked this one out i'm glad i got to witness this for the first time and like i said definitely going to be watching this one back so with that being said guys those are my thoughts on this film i would love to know your thoughts on this movie down in the comment section down below if you have any movies you would like me to do a commentary reaction and review for you could definitely let me know that down in the comment section down below and as far as that if you don't know what i do here on demi god and do trade the reaction show reactions movie reactions movie reviews movie news and unboxing videos so if you're interested in any of that in the right place man hit subscribe hit the like button i drop multiple videos a week on this channel so that you can expect out of me and if you don't already know this is my second film reaction that i've done on my channel you you can check out my first one where i went ahead and reacted to i believe it's 1998's saving private ryan that's a hell of a video a banger video you guys really like that one for those of you who went and checked that out you could check out that video right here go see what i had to say there in that video man and yeah i'll see you over there hope you enjoyed this one i hope you enjoy that one and just know i got plenty of content coming in the future that you will definitely enjoy if you are a movie fan like me and with that being said guys i'm out of this thing i appreciate you all for watching with me Peace.